Uh, well, thank you. Things are going to be a bit upside down over the next few days. It's going to get milder. It's also uh, going to turn drier as well. Now, we've seen some sunshine today, not everywhere by any means. Here in Northern Ireland, the best of the uh, sunshine. That weather front may just slide down across the UK on Sunday. Some uncertainty about that. But it looks like for the weekend, at least on Saturday, wind very mild air. Temperatures may drop in northern areas later on Sunday. There's a bit of rain on Sunday, and that's mainly across the north. It's been a bit of a dull start, but here's Georgie Palmer. Good afternoon. Something much quieter and much more settled over the coming days. As far as this afternoon is concerned, a further light patch of rain and drizzle to contend with, but eventually becoming drier. Have you been enjoying our weather, Duncan? No, no, that sort of water that blows around your face, that oh, yeah. kind of dampness, I don't like that. Yeah, frizzle is the technical term I think you'll find. I I'm love that. Great fun with it. Straighteners get another day out. Here we go, here's the <laughs> forecast. Hello again, I hope you had a lovely day. Clever Ruth, despite the miserable weather, has managed to find a rainbow and some sunshine. So thank you for that, Ruth. And I've put this beautiful picture here by Jack because the weather itself isn't quite so beautiful. It's going to be a colder night tonight and we have got uh, some cloud and light rain again tomorrow morning. But into Friday, it does start to get a bit drier and brighter. Good evening to you. Things are set to turn milder and breezy as we head into the weekend as high pressure builds in. But we've got a couple of chilly days on the coast. Although tomorrow doesn't look too bad, a lot of dry weather around uh, and the temperature is a little bit higher than what we've had today. That's it, thank you, thank you so much. Back to you. Thank you, lots going on in this wonderful city of ours, but what about the weather? <laughs> That's our staff. Hi there. Hi there, Is thank you very much. Good evening to you. Yeah, it's been a chilly day today for our region. Strong northerly winds, a lot of cloud around, some spots of drizzle here and there. Tomorrow's looking pretty similar, actually, with a lot of cloud around, outbreaks of rain. But things are set to get milder as we push into Friday, and certainly during the course of the weekend, if that's your thing. Temperature-wise, around 9 may hit 10 degrees, but I think we'll stay in single digits again on Friday. It's not until we get into Saturday where things really start to turn much milder. And you can see there, Saturday, Sunday, variable clouds, some sunshine, 12 or 13 degrees. And then through the uh, next week, temperatures will come down a little bit for the run up to a Christmas. But it, things will be turning noticeably milder by day and by night as we head into the weekend. Hello there. Given all the rain that we've had over the past few weeks, it's still pretty wet out there. But the next few days, at least, will turn drier and also the temperatures will be rising. Now, this area of low pressure brought cloud and some uh, rain and drizzle to eastern parts of England. That's moving away. The next weather system is coming in from the Atlantic. But in between the two, well, we did have some sunshine earlier on, particularly in Northern Ireland and here in Scotland. And it is the last meteor shower of 2023. Find out where and when you can spot shooting stars tonight. And uh, if overhead conditions allow, we're going to get a meteor shower, Absolutely, yeah? and the kind of showers that you don't need a brolly for, because <laughs> we've needed our brollies for quite a few days, actually, because it has been fairly wet at times, or we had weather warnings earlier this week. But if the skies are clear enough in places tonight, you may get a chance to see the Geminids meteor shower. Uh, and it's probably the most reliable of the meteor showers that we get. NASA say they're very reliable and it happens pretty much around this time every year. And it's actually visible across the world. And it's going to be peaking actually tomorrow night. Here's some pictures of it uh, already. Let's take a quick look actually at where you can expect and also perhaps how many you can expect. Up to 120 metres are possible under a dark sky and best to be seen after midnight tonight. Let's get a quick check on the map and actually see where it's going to be clearest tonight. So best conditions are going to be out towards the southeast, uh, fairly moderate uh, with some decent breaks. Good conditions across the central swathe of the UK, but cloud building in later but quite poor up towards the far northwest with the cloud and rain actually moving in at the moment. So that's your weather, kind of a whole mix of showers tonight, meter showers, actual showers. So uh, yeah, keep your body handy after all. All right. Alex, thank you for that. 